What's up guys, welcome back to another fucking video. Let me tell you what, I'm back. I know, it's been like eh, five months, possibly six. But, hey, your boy's back and with some heat. Dude, I saw this video and I was like, yo, I need to turn on this camera and I'm reacting to this shit. I tried to avoid paying for anything. When it comes to money, there are those who save. Last time I did laundry was three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> what? Let's rewind that really fast. Let's rewind that. To save. Last time I did laundry was three years ago. There are Last time I did laundry was three years ago. This woman said three years. That's a thousand ninety-five days. And yes, I opened up the calculator to get that number because what? What? Honestly, it's more impressive than anything to not do your laundry for three years because talk about procrastination. I go without doing my laundry for three weeks and I'm running out of socks. I'm using everything. I'm using socks that don't even match, much less anything. If you catch me with one of these Nike fucking ankle socks, you know I ran out of laundry like three weeks ago and it's getting bad. Ugh. But I'm still very impressed that she can actually go without doing her laundry for 1,095 days. Like, that's new age of stank. And guess where this video came from? And you guess right if you said TLC. Because TLC has all this amazing content. This is what they thrive off of. They thrive off people fucking their grandma or fucking other people's grandma. My name's Kyle, I'm 31, I live in Pittsburgh, and I'm addicted to dating older women. Or they thrive off virgins that still live in their mom's basement. The ideal girl isn't thinking that her ideal guy still lives at home in mom's basement, right? Mom, coming. But I do. They came up with another banger called Kate's Dumpster Dies for Food! Exclamation point! You're stingy. I haven't bought any clothes in eight years. Well, not for $25. After three years of having this fucking shirt, I already got fucking holes in it. So I don't even know how you can keep clothes for eight years. Honestly, very impressed. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep going, keep it on, because it's working. Because how else did you end up on TLC? I learned that the best way to live is to be very frugal and minimize my expenses. It's gonna be ten dollars. I have only a five dollars worth of change. Do you be able to take five dollars for that? No, oh, no, unfortunately I can't. You can't bring it down? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, this woman brought five dollars worth of change to the store and expected to haggle with it. <laughs> that takes fucking balls, dude. Yo. Brings five dollars worth of change into my store and asks me to give something half off and take the change? Yo, you got some cojones. You got some motherfucking balls, my friend. I don't know where this woman is from, but she just uh, doesn't give not one fuck was given when she brought literally five dollars worth of change into this store trying to buy some new clothes. If I use a paper towel in the public restroom, I'm drying off hands that I washed clean, so I keep them and reuse them. You can reuse the paper towel many times. Why pay to throw something away? Especially when I can get it for free. <laughs> Yo, this woman walks in the bathroom, uses a paper towel to dry off her hands, and says that shit is reusable. This video should not be named Extreme Cheapskakes. This video should be named 2019 Life Hacks, brought to you by TLC. That would've been a spot on, because she's dropping hot fucking Bangers right here, buddy. I never thought of this. I never thought if I go to the bathroom I can just reuse the instead of throwing away the wet soggy paper towels I use my hands. You know what I could do? I could just stash that shit buddy save it for later Waste this. I don't believe in paying for furniture. I have never bought furniture. Wow, there's some chairs in the dumpster. Now, paying for furniture, I can understand. Like, who buys fucking furniture? That's what one Craigslist is for. All right, miss me with that new, fresh, you know, 
smell of that furniture. I'm trying to get slightly used, slightly fucking moist sofas from the side of the road. You got me there, sister. You got a supporter there. Through picking up discarded furniture on the street before the trash picked it up. Now this is pretty dirty, but this one looks much cleaner. Well, I don't have one. Yo, I, I love how she has such high standards when she's dumpster diving for what is clean and what is fucking dirty, brother. No wonder, Karen, you're in a fucking dumpster. Yo, you have really high standards for someone who's in a dumpster getting furniture. Yo, at least that shit is, I would pick it off the fucking road. You're in the wrong spot. You should have just went to Ikea, got a $20 desk. Hey, so maybe they accept quarters there. I don't know. I, I actually should look that up. Yo, quarters. You can pay in cash, Ikea gift card, or major credit cards, yada yada. On second thought, I th Ikea, I don't think it's for you. Um, I don't think they'll go, <laughs> go in there and accept quarters. Sorry for that, my bad. The chair, but I would say I probably saved at least a couple thousand dollars on furniture. This woman said a couple thousand. <laughs> hey, word. Hey, yo, you'll find me in that gumster too. I'm not gonna roast this woman, but I'm going to roast this woman. <laughs> she got the fucking 2006 Skechers on, buddy. Yeah, she got the she got the 2006 Skechers, which are these, by the way. I don't know what year it is, but I don't like. I'm pretty sure this is current. This came out in 2019, so this is no normal. But what she's wearing, yo, on God, yo, she looks like the, the Asian Dora the Explorer. <laughs> yo, she looks like the Asian Dora the Explorer. Oh my god, yo, there's nothing wrong with that, but I think that's fucking hilarious. All she's, yo, all she's missing is a fucking magic map, a fucking fox, and a fucking monkey to follow her around, and yo, yo, she's fucking covered. I'm not even gonna lie, dude. I didn't pay anything for furniture. I got all the furniture that I have, either off the street or from hand-me-downs from other people. This is my makeshift couch. I found this in the trash outside the school dorm at the end of the school year. It's also my guest bed when people visit. This is my bed where I sleep, and uh, these are actually yoga mats that somebody was trying to get rid of, so I took them. Yo, imagine pulling up to this woman's house. You're like, yo, where's my room? Yo, she points you to the futon on the fucking floor. You're like, this is, this is it. This is it. Yeah, so I just looked on my phone, and it turns out there's an Airbnb with an actual bedroom, so I'll see you later, all right? I don't do laundry. Uh, you have to pay quite a bit in quarters, so whenever I have dirty clothes, I try to wash them while I'm showering. Today I'm using a free sample of detergent I got. Okay, I need to get detergent and bleach onto my clothes before I put them in the shower to soak. And once I'm done showering, then I lather up the clothes. I almost never do laundry. I think the last time I did laundry was um, maybe three years ago. What? The dirt and like fucking dead skin, you're washing off into the tub and the water. In that water, you're washing with your clothes. So really, that skin cells ain't going anywhere and you're just washing the clothes with it. Holy shit, that's disgusting. Oh, besides the point about the laundry, yo, this shot. I think the last time I did laundry was um, Maybe. Yo, this woman's butt ass naked, and this cameraman is just talking to her while she's like, like on all fours washing her clothes. Uh, so is this is a good angle? Just, I like this shot right here. Just, just keep washing. Are you are you sure uh, this is a good shot? Mm. Uh, you want me to put my clothes back on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't worry about it. It's a good shot. Great shot. All right, all right. All right. Great motherfucker. Keep going. I used to get my hair cut once a year at a beauty school. And then I decided I would cut my own hair. A former roommate actually left this behind. And that has worked out much better. I have heard that normal people pay $100 for a haircut. Now that, that is, that's very hard to imagine. I can't believe that. Yo, when she said that, I could see her like soul leaving her body a little bit. Ma'am, did you know that people usually pay for a meal that's $13.99? You said $13.99? I, I can't believe that. <laughs> I can't believe that anyone pays that much for fo food? 
Yo, yo, cut, yo, cut, th cut this shit off. Yo, one, can I put on my shirt? You can put your shirt on now. That's, that's fine. Can I put on? Can I put on my shirt now? Yo, put it on. that's why I draw the line. Yo, t get, get this camera out. Get this camera out of my face. Oh my God, this has been a first video back in a while. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that fucking smash that like button. Okay, I, I'm going to be posting more. I'm not going to set a schedule yet, but I will be posting more. This is a banger. The funny thing is, I, I literally only got seven minutes into this video and it's 21 minutes long. It's a whole episode and I found enough I found enough shit to react to for in seven minutes in this shit. Like I swear to god, this is a two part this should be a two part feature. Like honestly, I can make two videos out of this shit. But anyway, I love all your fucking faces. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yo, he's is so over toilet to wash her fucking vagina. Are you kidding? Are you fucking joking with me right now? Holy shit! <laughs> Yo, TLC got fucking... Oh my god, I don't know where TLC finds these people. Damn, I really don't.